Hey guys, welcome back to Broken Bones Barbecue. I know it's been a while, but guess what? We're back. Hey guys, if you like this, what I'm doing here on Broken Bones, teaching each and every one how to barbecue a little bit better, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Hit that like button and share it with your friends. Today, we're grilling up some beefy prime New York strip steaks. Bah! Yeah, that I was bad to the bone. Okay, so our steaks have been dry brining overnight in the fridge, 24 hour dry brine. Uh, what that means is I just take a, a salt, like a sea salt or kosher salt. This tonight I used sea salt, or last night I used sea salt. I covered both sides in sea salt. And what that does is the, the salt penetrates the meat and it pulls the moisture out, making it super, super uh, tender. -er. These are prime but it just gives it another flavor. And so today, for this episode, I'm gonna be using two different types of seasoning on them. I know, keep it simple, SPG. You know what? I am gonna just use it. No, I like hardcore carnivore bread. And so I'm gonna go ahead and start seasoning these steaks so they can come up to room temperature. And what I wanna do is get a good amount of seasoning in because they're big steaks. You always want to shake your your uh, shaker because sometimes the pepper will go to the bottom. I just want to pat those in. Just patting them in right there. Then I'm going to turn them over and do the same thing. <clears throat> no, I forgot to season this side. This SPG. <laughs> is really really strong as when you open the shaker and start pouring it i'm coughing my son's coughing it's a really good seasoning and then i'm gonna just come back with a hardcore carnival and hit it on top hardcore carnival i'm sorry just hit it on top oh you're not wearing gloves i know i wash my hands i bet you don't wear gloves either so i do that right there I'm actually going to take this rack off because um, the seasoning is on the bottom so there's also a lot of sea salt on there as well. So I'm just going to put the rack over here, pass this in, right, get these over. You see the crystallization of some of the rocks that were there, the sea salt. So I'm going to hit them again, take my shaker. again. Salt, pepper, garlic on both sides. Pat it in. Get it with a hardcore carnivore. Pat it in. a lot of seasoning on the where I season it on the tray so of course I'm gonna get my sides just gonna rub it in like this you can see this side here do that side there leave it there do the sides all the way around I'm gonna let these come up to root tip. We're gonna go ahead and take a break. We'll be back shortly when I go and go ahead and put them on the grill. The grill is preheating. I'm gonna cover these in saran wrap just so the flies don't get on them. But I leave it on the room tip and we'll be back. Okay, our steaks have come up to tip. We're gonna go ahead and go ahead and start grilling. Got a nice little sear mark on them. Oh yeah. Long. Because they're already at a certain degree, you just want to get a crust on it. Give it a little bit more time on that side. 
I like my medium. Rare, medium, that's good. Anything over that, I don't like it at all. I already cooked one steak and that's my wife's steak. And she likes hers a little bit more uh, done. sides now when you get the sides get some rendered of that fat rendered recording he tells me to pick up my voice because people can't hear me but I think you can hopefully the microphone is picking up what I'm laying down Right back. Okay, and this, my friends, is the final product. You see that crust? Steak and corn, mashed potatoes, not mashed potatoes. There you go. My wife is so smart. Thank you, love. There we go. And there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching this episode of Broken Bones Barbecue. More to come.